Good morning, everyone. This is Joe Henches with Beyond the Chart, and we're going to do a stock chart analysis of United States Natural Gas, the ETF, uh, ticker symbol UNG. So we're going to look at this from a weekly and the daily basis and just see what's going on with this ETF. Uh, let's take a look at, and today is uh, Tuesday morning before the market opens, May 12th, 2015. All right, so here's a weekly chart of all the data I've got on it, which I assume is complete back to April 2007. You can clearly see that it peaked out when all of the commodities peaked back in June, July of 2008. Oil's around $150 a barrel, and the uh, natural gas was way up here over $500. And now it is at $14 on this ETF. So, you know, I've had a big move down. The biggest takeaway I've got on here uh, with the, uh, on the weekly chart is this kind of sideways consolidation corrective action that we then broke down through over here and let me blow it up a little bit which broke down uh, the week ending December 5th of last year so last December 5th and then it just started the uh, breaking down through this trend line here of kind of this counter trend move so it was a continuation to the downside so uh, don't really have any picture on a weekly basis of, of a wave count. I mean, this is a pretty strong wave down here. Uh, I haven't really spent time trying to analyze a, a wave count in here. The, it does look to me like maybe five waves over here in this move, uh, down especially as we get into uh, the daily chart. Uh, yeah, we are getting some divergence on the demand index uh, on the uh, DI minus is showing bullish divergence and on the RSI it's showing bullish divergence on this move down here now again that's just one point of reference and and one uh, bullish divergence coming in you know you notice how we got a little bit of bullish divergence right in here too got basically a couple weeks or a few weeks rally and then it rolls right on over so the trend is still to the downside and it's still pretty strong so you got to be a little bit careful. I mean, look at this 21 week moving average. It's just almost straight down. So it's fighting this kind of headwind. I mean, look back over here when it was fighting a similar type of headwind. I mean, you're going to come up and then you're going to pull back and then you're going to rally again. And then you're going to pull back because you're going to chop as you try to get these things to turn if you're going to turn and try to put in a base. So that's that's a little bit of my caution here. We look at the daily chart. And again, this is uh, pretty gappy in terms of the trade, but that's the way this seems to trade. Although, what, what kind of volume are we looking at? Uh, 6.7 million average 50-day volume on this. Uh, but uh, the again, so on this move down in here is where we're getting divergence. We're getting a little short-term trend uh, up in here. Uh, we still don't have, we still got the 21 day below the 55. The red is the 55. Uh, make sure I've got, yeah, the red is 55. This is the 233 day. I use Fibonacci numbers on my uh, uh, simple moving averages. So this is 233 day, 55, 21, 10 EMA. It's a 10 exponential is kind of my trigger line. Uh, so it's riding the, the upside of the 10 right now. So short term move to the, to the upside. But I think it's going to run into some resistance, uh, you know, right in uh, in here. Uh, you know, you look at the top of this long uh, in here, and then across the top in here. So it's got some of this that it's going to have to work its way through, and um, and I think that's what it's going to run into as it's as it's trying to push higher. And then I wouldn't be surprised to see it just kind of do some of this chop like I was just talking about. I mean, it's it looks like it's trying to put in a base. And, you know, again, uh, if you, uh, you're you fighting a, a pretty strong downtrend on a weekly basis, but on a daily basis, if you're trying to play it, uh, you can then just, you know, make sure you've got a you know specific stop set up that you're going to use uh, in here. Uh, but right now, 
I don't, you know, we don't have the intermediate trend higher yet. We still got the long-term trend down. The intermediate trend is negative. The short-term trend is the only thing that's positive on it. We'll have to keep watching it. And we've got some trend lines breaking naturally. I mean, you can see see that right in here. Uh, and, uh, and so we will see, you know, does it pull up into here, create another trend line, and put in a base? But it looks like it's trying. So, all right, we'll have to keep an eye on it. That's my uh, take on UNG for the day. And uh, everyone have a great Tuesday. The yeah, market looks like it's going to be a little negative this morning. We'll see what happens today. And we'll be back on tomorrow night with the market update.